Hi friends, this is Brian Paulson, pastor of First Presbyterian Church of Libertyville with your weekly update of Ministry of First Press. Well, you can hear kids playing in the background, the lilacs are growing, the wind of the Holy Spirit is here. <laughs> Pentecost is this Sunday. I hope you'll be with us as we celebrate the gifts of the Holy Spirit that draw us together as the body of Christ. Of course, we're all so mindful right now as America, continuing to grapple with that issue of justice and the challenges of uh, race and how it afflicts us. The violence that we see on the television screen from Minneapolis and what we know is the history of struggles with violence and for justice in Chicago as well. Gosh, we got a lot to pray about. Uh, this Sunday we're focused about the, the gift of being the body of Christ for the community. And friends, uh, in our community, we all across uh, Illinois are moving into phase three of uh, the governor's community recovery order. For us, it means that we're thinking about what we can do under those safe limitations of 10 or less um, with social distancing. Thanks be to God, the Holy Spirit is not restrained. It unites us wherever we are. We've worked on the session, as I announced last week, to have a thoughtful, safe, and strong uh, sense of community for the well-being of all in our church going forward. And we continue to live within a framework that is in line with that recovery order of the governor. Uh, I want to encourage you into our summer Bible study, a five-week study. You can still sign up uh, for that. It'll be a Zoom study and in small groups looking at the book of Job, thinking about how we face adversity and how our faith remains strong even when confronting with really rough challenges. Uh, we also have a wonderful summer of activities, a stay-at-home family summer camp. We're hoping that First Press families are going to uh, be involved in our ministry called Growing Up With God. Every week there's going to be a special online worship service just for families with kits and outdoor activities that families can do at home. Gosh, I want to participate too. So, we encourage you to see the newsletter and our website for more information. I'm referring now to what you can be doing to read through our weekly email update. There are a lot more details that we want you to pay attention to. A big thank you that you're going to read about and hear from us. Um, so if you haven't already signed up, do so on our website. And of course, do some sharing with friends in our First Press Community Facebook group. It's a wonderful place to see what's going on in the life of our church together. I'd like you to join with me in a time of prayer. Won't you join your hearts with mine? Oh God, we pray for Dave, Barb, Pam, and Chris. We pray for our partner churches in Chicago, Italy, and Cuba. We pray for all students and teachers and the strains they have in their learning. We pray for the members in Community Group 1 of our congregation and ask for your special blessing on them. We pray for all essential workers, all frontline workers. We pray for those who are returning to work 
and the anxiety they feel. Oh God, protect them, keep them safe, give them calm. And of course, oh God, we are praying for peace and justice in Minneapolis and in all our cities and in our hearts and in our community that we might even expand our understanding of who our neighbor is. Oh God, uh, we pray with gratitude for the blooming of nature and the promise of all things new. We pray that you would strengthen us, and guide us, that we would be faithful to you as you have been over the past 150 years of our congregation. These things we pray in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, friends, I hope to see you in worship on Sunday. Hope you'll join our social time immediately afterwards on Zoom. Uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in Bible studies or special family worship. Blessings to you all.